man of the match. Who are you picking? Who did I go? Oh, Timothy Weah. Okay. Yeah, it's got to be Timothy Weah again. He's, he's one of your most dangerous players, if not the most dangerous. And listen, I know we just sat here and talked about Christian Pulisic yep. and how he's putting things on his shoulders. Shoulders, but Timothy Way is the one guy when he's on the field. If I'm a defender, I'm always just like, where is this guy? Yeah. Where is he? Like, is he running next to me? Is he is he trying to get in behind me? Does he have the ball? Is he gonna touch it long? Is he gonna cut it back? Is he gonna try to dance on it? Like, wh what's going on? He's the one that makes me nervous if I'm a defender. It doesn't matter who he's playing against. I think he's been brilliant, and I don't. You know how much I like Brendan Aronson. Yeah. I like Gio Reyna. If it's at the expense of getting Timothy Way off the field, I'm not about it. You can't move him, right? No. Greg Berhalter doesn't have that option. Can I'm I, playable at the moment. Can I can I point this out? And maybe you maybe you disagree. I think a big part of Tim Weah's success is the partnership with Sergio Des because every time you look up, the US is bombing down that can right side. Can I ask side. you a question? Yo. Were you worried about Sergio coming into this? Yes, but not because of what he could do in the attack, because of defense. the World Cup. Yeah, defensively, yeah, absolutely. Yes. And he's been great. And yeah. I agree with you. I think that partnership. Has but I feel been like brilliant. we haven't seen him put in those no, positions no, 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 no. to defend. I mean, no, maybe he, that's but he's the been setup. really good. I, I don't recall seeing Sergio this disciplined. He's been great. Yeah, I mean, for me, the man of the match has to be Christian Pulisic. Um, it's and it is, of course, down to the goal. But again, I go back to the first half. This guy was buzzing right from jump. He was very, very clearly signaling to the rest of the team, hey. If anybody else out here is nervous, if anybody else out here is wondering who's going to be the guy, who is going to be him, uh, as they say now on social media, Christian Pulisic put his hand up. Before the goal, he was fearless. He was running at this Iranian defense. And I don't think they had a lot of answers for him, Herc. We, we've seen him give other teams troubles in fits throughout this tournament, but it was it was almost like, to your point about Wea, every time he touched the ball in this game, you, you were on the edge of your seat. Something was going to happen. I enjoyed watching Iran play this tournament. They play with tremendous heart. They've got a few players, Tehrami, uh, tremendous skill, especially the way they attack you in transition. Very special players. But this would have been a different game if Christian Pulisic was available in the second half. If he was at optimal level, I really think they would have put this away sooner. Um, all right, so here's a look at Christian Pulisic's heat map there. My choice for man of the match. Can I give another shout out here? Josh Sargent, because that was the other big decision, right? Yeah, man. And I, it's the I, first time in a long time that I've seen a, a US 9 Sargent or anybody else and thought, they played well, they did the job. I hate when people say he put in a shift because that makes <laughs> it sound like yeah. he just worked. But my man was yes. great in his shift. Uh, he is deceivingly fast, he is strong. He's got very good technical ability and he combines yeah. so well. He's just a very smart nine. He's, my, he's the most talented nine. Yep. Let's hope he's healthy, uh, kind of a fluke injury there. Uh, yeah, in the second half. That ain't Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.